Hello folks, how you doing? This looks as though it's gonna rain, doesn't it? Well, I just had my dinner, a lovely roast dinner. Been doing a few bits in my flat. Thought I'd uh, come and sit in the garden for half an hour. Well, I went into town, as you know, yesterday. Um, I was going into town to meet a friend who is on YouTube, watches the lives. But I heard someone else saying they were going into town. I got in touch with them. Just they were gonna just meet me and quickly change the settings on my phone so you've got to subscribe because my unique v viewers has gone up to 15,800 so I may get more subscribers but I don't care if I do or not because if there's two people watching my videos I will uh, carry on doing them and that's all that matters big shout out to Kevin Sparky um, from there, Glasgow boys, hello lads, and thanks for your uh, sex message, appreciate it, big up lads, respect. Yeah, so when it's sound yesterday, first of all, uh, I got into sound, I seen police, by St John's precinct, running from Lime Street Police Station to Central, St Central Station, so I ran, followed them, uh, behind them, discreetly trying to be covert, but obviously holding the phone up is, you're not cold there, so are you? So we had to keep put, buttoning, hitting the red button, stopping the video, I've got a little piece. As soon as she comes, I said, look, the time's not moving on my phone, I'm not recording. Not she could do really, is it? But yet they found the lad, he got arrested and he had a knife in his pocket. Now he was in the shop, I assume, it was cut, um, the tags off clothes. But you know, carrying a knife, he's going to get charged with going equipped to use that knife to... Um, could injure someone, you know? And the homeless guy, you know, I went up to him. First of all, I asked him, could I record him, asked him questions, and what questions I could ask him and sold them beforehand, and he agreed. But once he uh, mentioned he had mental health problems, I had to realize he was vulnerable and cut it short because I couldn't ask him did he have a drug problem because that would be on YouTube for life and that video will be getting deleted in a week or so. It's just to let people know how they're living. Um, and you know, I was gonna stay on the streets for a week to see what it was like, but after seeking advice from CPN um, nurse, advisable i do not sleep on the streets for one night so i'm going to start going around town um seeing if i can do a bit of content with the homeless spending a few days in the town i'm going to just, like, try and get myself one of them gopros so i can just put it on my chest a little camera and no one can see it whatsoever i can sit there and record so my heart's content because you do realize i remember from when i was selling the big issue in central station they could arrest you because it was private property so i have to say yeah i'm not recording switch it off if i was in a public place i wouldn't have so you know i'm on the ball i know what's private and what's not private you know another thing what i don't like that lad yesterday, the, the homeless lad, he seen me, I, I gave him some money, um, and I said, do you want a ciggy? Well, you know, I've got empathy, and if he's on drugs, who am I to judge? But I watched one guy on a podcast recently, he said he, he, he gives someone a hide and a smackhead for asking him for a ciggy. Well, obviously, this guy has got no empathy, and, I, and this is not personal towards the guy. I've got empathy because who am I to judge? Who is he to judge? You know, the guy, I'm not saying it, he said he's done a jail sentence, so if you've done a jail sentence, you can't judge anybody, in my opinion. You know, and I'm not saying, I wouldn't say that, but he's already put it out on social media that he's been to jail. But I wouldn't be the first one to put it out there. You don't sell it anyone's business. But it's, everyone probably knows who I mean because they've watched them. Do you know what I mean? 
But uh, I, I put a polite comment and it was removed. I said, come on, have a bit of empathy. You don't batter someone for asking you this, for the Siggy and uh, whatnot. I said, and I'm not astronomy, my real name. Please leave the comments up. Obviously, it was in there within two minutes. So this person is not even letting you give a genuine comment when you're not a troll, you know. But uh, I'm starting to get out there. Uh, it's summer. I can't be laying in the laying on my bed, not in it, on it, all day on the on the phone, on the watching the Cody box, whatever. I've got to push myself and get out. They have been cleaning up in my flat a bit. Um, a friend's down um, helping me, so I said to her, I'll let it just uh, pop out downstairs in the garden for a little bit while you do it. It's uh, a friend I've known for years, but you know. So, uh, what have you been up to, folks? You know, so we had to cut the video short. You think I was right? Because he had to take into consideration, he, as soon as he mentioned he had mental health properties, problems. And he did have severe uh, mental health impairments. Um, yeah, he had learning difficulties. And I got on that st straight away. So, you know, I could only make the video four minutes. Um, if it had made it any, any longer, um, I'd have to ask him questions, which, because he's vulnerable, I feel I've got to protect him to get me and not ask him them questions because he's not aware of what he's doing. I told him it would be going on YouTube. I said, it, it, it's not getting on it, put on a haters. You're not gonna get hated on. People will be saying, oh, it's poor, sad in this day and age, do you know? And the, the places where Fear the Homeless is still going from when I was homeless, um, you know? You get a few threats in sound and whatnot, but you know, I don't want violence with anyone. But you know, um, if someone gives me grief, you know, if money talks, doesn't it, you know what I mean? And if you've got decent friends, friends talk, you know, so uh, we're all here to help each other, you know, but you get some people get a bit uh, jealous or hate upon you for no reason at all, just because uh, someone may be thingy, you know, mentioning what you've done in your life, who you're not about with when you were a kid, you know, not about your, you know, not about their today life, what they're doing today is all the people that uh, is good, you know, and uh, people are in a better place when they're older than when you're younger and you take drugs, you know, but I'd advise anyone to take uh, a step back from drugs you know, cannabis is acceptable in a small dose. First cigarette of the day. Um, and when I say cannabis, I mean CBD, the legal version of it, not cannabis, what you smoke off the streets. Um, so, you know, uh, I appreciate all your comments, but you know, I'd like the person who said that they battered someone for asking for the ciggy. Um, Come on, I think that's out of order. If I give someone a smack who asks me for the ciggy, I'd be giving someone a smack every day. Do you get me? So, and then you're mentioning you wish uh, you're lucky and that all your bills were free, but you don't want to give a ciggy out. It's a contradiction, but you know, I'm not hating on you. I'm just giving you good advice, mate. Heed it. Heed it means take the advice on board, by the way. I know some of you know, don't say I'm not thick. Some people don't know. So you have to make it clear, don't you? But uh, I'm going to my friends. Uh, I've got to meet someone in the morning, but I'll be going to my friends Tuesday. Uh, he's got a little house, it's two up, two down. I'm going to help him do a, little, a few odd jobs, what I can do, you know, it's to my capabilities. But anyway, if I can do it, folks, people who are, uh, 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 are in their house and won't go out, it's summer, you cannot lay in your house all day. You've got to get out and go for a walk, stretch them legs, you know? And, you know, that's the way it is, you know? You just uh, become depressed, and the more you go into it staying in your house, the more you acclimatise yourself to doing that. You know, you, st you stay uh, in the same surroundings, 
you know, and that's called, I think, anxiety and depression and it just hits you when you're not expecting it, doesn't it? You can have a good month and all of a sudden you just feel a bit low, you know? But uh, I appreciate you for watching and thanks for coming. And big shout out again to Kevin and Sparky, the Glasgow boys. Big up and respect, folks. Much appreciated.